All right, uh, news is coming in. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that Islamabad doesn't want confrontation with uh, any country and there would be no compromise on national interests either. The Prime Minister of Pakistan uh, said that the PTI government wanted better ties with neighboring countries. Regarding India, Khan said solution of chronic issues is a must for regional progress. We have Hamza Amir who's uh, with us live from Islamabad this afternoon. Hamza, uh, once again an appeal for peace by Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan. This uh, on the back of that tweet that he, uh, he had put out supporting Sidhu where he said that uh, uh, dialogue was the only way out of the deadlock uh, over Kashmir. Also that for peace in the subcontinent, India and Pakistan must hold dialogues. Well, definitely. I think since the time Imran Khan uh, did his first public speech, uh, he talked about peace with neighboring countries. Then in the second speech as well, he also addressed the same thing. And now, uh, as soon as he uh, went on to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs today for a briefing on foreign policy that Pakistan is going to adopt towards India, towards Russia, towards China, towards US, uh, he actually said that there will be no compromise on national interests of the country. However, Pakistan is willing for a better ties with the neighboring countries. He's also mentioned that regarding India, that chronic issues are, um, you know, uh, uh, the solution to chronic issues is the only, only way forward for uh, regional peace. So I think Imran Khan is very, uh, uh, you know, known to the fact that India-Pakistan relations and their disputes with each other are certainly uh, affecting the whole region on the, uh, as, uh, as an important matter, and that is why they have to be sorted out. But he's made this very clear that uh, uh, the national interest will not be compromised. And not to forget, it was Imran Khan who said that Kashmir is the core agenda on Pakistan's part, and that's where the full stop has been. Pakistan wants Kashmir on the table as a core agenda. India wants terrorism on the table as a core agenda. Both do not want to sit and debate on these issues. Right, and... Uh... Hamza, you know, it's interesting. This is the second such uh, pitch coming in from Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan where he's talking about peace in the subcontinent. But interestingly, his foreign minister has been speaking, uh, has been towing another line where he even at one point uh, sort of threatened India saying that uh, Pakistan should not be ignored because it's not just another neighbor, it's, an, uh, it's a nuclear power. Well, definitely. I think, see, Pakistan, while on one side would be uh, looking ahead towards giving rhetoric statements when it comes to India-Pakistan relations, talking about peace, talking about dialogue, talking about bilateral relations of promotion of, uh, you know, trade between the two countries. On the other hand, uh, it will certainly make no doors closed when it comes to showing its muscles as, as a nuclear power. Uh, and very important role player in the region as well. And that's exactly what the foreign minister, the newly for elected foreign minister, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, did. He said that we're not only neighbors, we're also a nuclear power. And that is uh, that, and that we cannot be ignored. So he's basically not only has hinted towards India, he's also uh, hinted directly towards the United States as well, who actually has been calling on Pakistan to do more. And Pakistan will make sure that their presence is felt as a nuclear power in the region and they will have their say. That's what the emphasis of the foreign minister has been as well. So Pakistan doing two lines at one side, uh, one time talking peace, uh, talking friendly relations with neighbors on the other side, uh, making sure that right. they know that what Pakistan's point of view will be, uh, that will have to be considered. All right, Hamza, stay on with us. There's more news that uh, we'd like to present concerning Pakistan. A war over it seems to have uh, erupted between Pakistan and uh, the United States. Pakistan has asked the U.S. to immediately correct a readout issued by the State Department refuting U.S. claims. Pakistan says there was no mention of terrorism in Imran Khan's talks with Mike uh, Pompeo. In uh, the statement, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was quoted as saying that he asked Pakistan's new Prime Minister Imran Khan to take decisive action against all terrorists operating in the country. Foreign Office spokesperson of Pakistan, Mohammad Faisal, has said that there was no mention of terrorism at all in that conversation. This uh, should be immediately corrected. He, in fact, said that uh, the two, uh, that uh, the, the U.S. Uh, Department uh, 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 envoy congratulated Imran Khan on the victory and spoke about other things. Are you saying that terrorism was discussed in the phone? I'm saying we stand by our readout. I'm, I don't necessarily read an entire readout word for word for you here at the podium. You know, I can only say I, we stand by our readout. They're an important partner. The secretary had a good call with the new prime minister, and we look forward to okay. having a, a, so, in a, other words, can you a just, good relationship with them in the future. Can you just
We have uh, Hamza who's with us live from Islamabad. Hamza, what happened there? Uh, the U.S. State Department uh, sort of issuing a clarification saying they still stand with the statement that had been earlier issued, but also saying they want good relations uh, with the Imran Khan uh, government going forward. Also, uh, from uh, what I've read, uh, uh, Mike Pompeo expected to visit Pakistan sometime soon. Well, yes, Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State, is actually expected to land in Islamabad during the first week of September. Uh, and uh, this whole uh, scuffle that actually started was from a phone call, which was uh, given to the Prime Minister Imran Khan by uh, Mike Pompeo, uh, congratulating and facilitating him for taking office as the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Uh, uh, well, uh, when it was actually elaborated and detailed by the U.S. Secretary of State, uh, uh, by the U.S. State Department spokesperson, it was said that they are also talked about terrorism they also talked about how u.s actually expects pakistan to take decisive action against terror outfits operating inside pakistan while this was claimed pakistan's foreign office was quick to reject these claims they said uh, that pakistan has taken exception of the factually incorrect statement uh, issued by the u.s state department uh, because uh, that was in relation to the phone call and they said that there was no mention of terrorism in that call it was a normal good call of facilitation and that needs to be corrected on part of u.s but u.s is in clear standing ground saying that they, whatever the readout they read out uh, before and uh, they are going to stand by it so it certainly shows the kind of uh, you know stretch that there is between pakistan and us and at, especially at a time when mike pompeo is expected to come in uh, Islamabad. diplomatic sources also are uh, hinting towards you know pakistan not allowing mike pompeo uh, to come back uh, to come to Islamabad if this statement is not corrected and their readout is not taken back Right, and uh, Hamza, a lot of people uh, claim that this is a first because the U.S. has expressed uh, displeasure with Pakistan on several occasions for not acting uh, against terrorists on its soil. But it's a first and that Pakistan has lodged any sort of protest saying that uh, the U.S. is misrepresenting talks that, uh, uh, you know, that, that, were, that were held uh, between Mike Pompeo and Imran Khan in that telephonic conversation. Well, yes, I think, you know, since the time that this uh, Imran Khan's, uh, you know, leadership has come in place, uh, we have seen uh, how U.S. actually raised concerns over uh, the International Monetary Fund of uh, not aiding Pakistan because they said that Pakistan might be paying off China, uh, you know, the loans from China through the IMF fund. And it was our uh, finance minister, uh, Asad Umar, who said that the uh, U.S. should be concerned more about paying off China's debt rather than, you know, poking nose into Pakistan's affairs. That now, even now, uh, Pakistan seems to be taking a very strong and rigid position against the United States, even on a small telephone call, let it be. Uh, so that just goes on to show what kind of intention Pakistan is coming ahead with or probably is trying to create an impression in front of its own people who actually are expecting a lot uh, from the Imran Khan administration because he's come, he's made tall claims uh, on foreign policy, on domestic issues, and he said that he will make a change in Pakistan. So I think that is why uh, they, it, it's more like, uh, you know, a public consumption attempt that, you know, Pakistan is going to stand its ground no matter what. And I think it's highly being appreciated in Pakistan as well that Pakistan for once is taking the stand on even on a smaller issue against a strong administration of the Trump administration in Washington. All right, Hamza, thanks so much for that. We're going to keep coming back to you for more on this story. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.